I'm Mark Nesbitt and I'm creator of the Economic Botany Collection and Senior Research Leader for Interdisciplinary Research at Kew. So we're standing in the Economic Botany Collection and it's a collection of around about 100,000 objects from around the world that represent you know, all aspects of human interaction with plants. So this is one of Kew's uh, really important research collections. So it's not normally accessible to the public, although it's really important to say that the collection is always accessible to researchers. The Economic Botany Collection was founded in 1847 by a then director, William Jackson Hooker, and he saw it as an interface between the producers of the raw materials and manufacturers in Britain, manufacturers of medicine, of, of materials, of clothing. And those are raw materials for you know, all those aspects of human use as a plant. So clothing, medicine, food, materials such as uh, uh, rubber and gutta percha. So the collection is, is you know, a deep part of that you know, global pattern of empire uh, and trade in the 19th century. But it also illustrates really well how Britain's relationship with the world has changed coming through to the 21st century. So there's a real opportunity with this collection, both to work with what we call source communities, so these are the communities that materials came from, uh, often representing you know, plants or, or activities that have been lost through industrialization and, and globalization in the last uh, 100 years or so. It's a real opportunity there to share knowledge back and to share techniques. This is very much a, a two-way knowledge exchange, uh, work that we're already doing in Brazil, that we're doing in India, that we'd love to extend uh, to other places. But there's also an opportunity for this collection to challenge more broadly ideas about how we're working sustainably with nature. So if you'd like to find out more about Q's Economic Botany Collection, keep your eyes peeled for the next episode. You can support our world-class research and diverse collections by donating to Q today.